family is at Cleaner's Fruit Farm. We're here to try the Cox Orange Pippin Apple. All right, so we're here at Cleaner Fruit Farm and Chris, our buddy who brought us currants in the current episode is gonna take us out to find the Cox Orange Pippin Trees. We're gonna go on the tractor. Does that sound fun? We're here at the Queener Orchard for another exciting episode here. And uh, today we're looking at the Cox's Orange Pippin, which is an English variety known for uh, to be, to some people, one of the best apples. Um, but when it comes to organics, um, they're scabby. And so that's one of the reasons why you don't see that so much Cox's Orange Pippin around. Um, we don't use any sprays um, other than surround and yucca spray to control um, scab and calling moth and that sort of thing because um, we don't want to use co we don't want to use copper sulfate which destroys the uh, the um, uh, beneficial insects so um, anyway so this is Cox's uh, orange and uh, orange red and so orange pippin I mean to say and uh, it's got a yellowish red uh, uh, modeling to it um, it presses out into amazing juice. It cooks okay, but it's mostly dessert apple. Um, so there is some codling moth pressure here. So we're going to high grade the apples for the best apples. Hey, all right. Um, but anyway, they're just, they're an excellent. They're, are you guys make smoothies like morning smoothies? Elliot, pick one. Go climb in there and get that one. See that one right there? That big one? Can you get that one? Yeah. You find a good one, Elliot? Yeah. Hi. Ah. And then turn around mm -hmm. and kind of fix this till it feels supportive on your back. Okay. Does it feel supportive? Yeah. Okay, and then they're right here. <laughs> they're not gonna, these they're ropes. gonna fall right through. More there's supportive than your husband. <laughs> More supportive than my husband. <laughs> and uh, there, so you just take this knot and it, it goes down. The, you want to yeah. use the, there's there's two on there, but oh, we okay. usually use the, the short one. One okay. farthest up. Um, and then you should be good. Sometimes what will happen is like you'll clip on oh. here and then all of a sudden, like you're like. Oh, look! It's got really light all of a oh, sudden. You have a trail of apples. <laughs> yeah. So that one's having a snack. Hmm. And then um, the way to, the way to pick um, is you pick the apple, and then you put it all the way in the bottom, as opposed to drop it, because right. then it'll just make it'll, more bruising. It'll make bruising, right? Do you know anything about like the history of Cox being from England and all that? Or yeah, it was bred. Uh, it was, Ooh, I think it was bred in the good. early 19, 1900s, what like twenties or forties or something like that. Um, since then, it's been used in a ton of crosses. Um, some of my favorite crosses are uh, Cox's or um, Ellison's Orange Red, which is an early apple that has kind of like a. Um, an unplaceable flavor note that's it's really wonderful and then there's been a lot of crosses with uh, with uh, Cox's uh, orange pippin and uh, golden delicious so two of those um, there's an apple called Rubinette that's that's very nice and then there's an apple um, it's got a nice complex flavor but again kind of scabby um, that's with most of the Cox oranges orange crosses um, there's another one called Hawaii, which has uh, tropical flavors, but also again, really scabby. 
Um, I saw this YouTube video with some of the guys from um, the Maling Research Station, which is where I was bred at. And they were, they were like, yeah, we made a, good, a lot of good tasting apples that were scabby, but we probably shouldn't u have used Cox's Orange as a parent in the crosses. So, but uh, it's really pop, it, it's in England, it's popular for juice and stuff like that. Just doesn't look good for grocery stores. Yeah, I mean. People get turned off by it. Yeah, basically. Um, uh, even in England, where it's from, like, they they would they would say um, like people would just be, just explain like it was always so hard to grow and uh, so it kind of fell out of fla favor when other other modern apples started coming people just tore under the the Cox's orange um, and then it kind of for a while became an uncommon apple so but here we are today you know oh, wow. what happened just like what you said. Oh. They all rolled out. Are they down on the ground? I got them. Oh, yeah. okay. Miles, what is that? You found a slug? <laughs> Yucky, don't play with that. That's weird. Think Miles, you like the Cox Orange Pippin? All the way across North Siberia and the Russians. Um, you know, various tribal peoples going across north of Siberia over into North America from like the North Plains north into Canada. So, um, going, <laughs> going forward, I think this is a, um, one of the. So good. What's what, why do you like it? Cause it has see all this red oh, and green in this. Mhm. Mm it's so sour. It can like burn, make my mouth so sour. Is it a sour apple or a sweet apple or? It is a. Sour. So you're just looking for the best right now? Yeah. Um, they're scabby, but the flavor's good. I don't know what I'm, I'm not meaning to do. Have, oops, a little bit of scab. But I'm getting rid of ones that are like this, you know? It's scab crack on there. Which will press fine for cider. It's just not, not ideal. We got the Cox Orange Pippin. Let's try it. Mm, really good. 
Chris, I don't like mealy apples, and this is good. It's fresh, it's sweet, it's got a nice texture, it's got a little bit of that sour tang to it. Very good. I really like it. It's um, like hearty. It has um, a lot of chew to it. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but it's... Um, he was telling me we could put it in salads or make a pie, which is what I have planned for some of these. Um, but yeah, I think you're right. It has a pretty unique flavor. A good amount of um, kind of that tart sour flavor that I like. We had a lot of fun today. Thank you, uh, Queen and Fruit Park. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. We love the apples.